Hey everyone, welcome back to Cabrillo. Right now you're looking at Claremont Avenue in the neighborhood of Claremont that we built in the last episode, where we talked about streetcar suburbs and how the city's gonna grow in the future. This episode, we're gonna be moving across the map, across the hill from downtown. Um, and we're going to be building the UC Cabrillo campus, a University of California campus I've kind of made up here. And it's going to be heavily influenced by a couple of UC campuses you might be familiar with. So um, starting off, looking at Inspiration Station, our, our segment where we look at the inspiration for the episode, the, the main inspiration for this campus is going to be UC Berkeley. I go to UC Berkeley. I live in Berkeley. I mean, I, I, it's a really beautiful place. I can't overstate how beautiful it is. But it's also got Telegraph Avenue, which is a very historic um, center of the free speech movement and tons of different events have, have taken place in this area, and it's an extremely lively street. I want to build a, um, a college town that kind of uh, mimics Telegraph um, and provides a place for students to interact with the public realm uh, outside of campus. Another place I want to look at is UC Santa Cruz, uh, which I, I've been to once at, at night, though. It was kind of creepy just driving up these very grassy um, roads to get into the campus, which is in a redwood forest. Um, if you've been there, you, you just you know how weird it is. It, it's really cool, though. It's really integrated into its environment. Um, and I do want to do something like that here in, in Cabrillo as well, whether it's um, mostly research oriented or just normal campus buildings. We'll see. This episode, we're only going to be building the main part of campus. Um, it's going to be complete, though. Um, we're going to build the whole campus, detail it. Um, but in a future episode, we're going to have to build uh, a stadium or two. We're going to have to build the, um, the. I, I mean, I'm building the road up there right now, but I'll end up deleting it later. Just you get the idea how that's going to work. We're going to go up into the hills and have kind of a second little campus up there accessible with campus buses. Um, then we'll also have a you know, the college town surrounding this that, that we also have to build. That's going to be a separate video, though. Um, so stick around for hopefully the next video to where, where we'll work on that try to get as much done as possible but uh, this episode was took a little bit longer than you might expect because every single building on campus basically is PO. Um, I did this because the vanilla liberal arts school buildings which are kind of they they, they are based on or at least largely both UCLA and Berkeley like the, the admin building is kind of in the architecture of, of Berkeley with it but it's a UCLA building um, from what I gather and it, it's very bizarre, but um, when you scale them down They look a little less weird and uh, obnoxious and that you could actually use them But you can only do that with PO so they're totally non-functional the only way I'm gonna make this work is I'm gonna use um, service blocks and um, I'm gonna use uh, Park people generators and it's gonna be bizarre. It won't quite work um, Perfectly simulation wise, but I don't really care I just want to build a beautiful campus here that uh, kind of combines aspects of UC campuses that I like um, and yeah, I mean, let me know in the comments um, if you've been to UC campuses, if you've gone to school at a UC, um, how this kind of uh, correlates with your experience. Uh, I guess you could maybe definitely draw a lot of parallels of this to, to Berkeley, but even to UCLA, and you'll see it um, kind of parallel to Santa Cruz as well uh, when we build that area. Um, but, but definitely Berkeley is the main, the main um, influence on this, just because it's what I have the most experience with. You know, I've been there for a, a year or so. It's, it's, uh, it's a really beautiful place, and, and I want to capture that here. Um, the architecture is very similar to Berkeley's, as you'll, as you'll notice. I mean, it's almost in, indistingu bleh, indistinguishable, just because the way these um, vanilla buildings were, were modeled. Um, and and it's, it's beautiful. It fits Cabrillo very well. Um, uniquely, though, this college is going to have a history that is is different from Berkeley. So whereas Berkeley was kind of the home of the free speech movement and a lot of political activism, uh, this is also a home of political activism, but in a different, in a totally different realm of public art and kind of reclaiming the public's right to to space and and the campus is going to be covered in beautiful murals just on the sides of the buildings not just in the town around it but just on campus there are going to be murals with beautiful paintings that are you know, redone every once in a while a lot of them maybe a lot of them are historic and have been there for a long time but it really public art um, and just art in the built environment is going to be a really important part of campus culture here. And I, you know, I, I'm not very aware of other campuses that have similar histories, but this is, I mean, you're going to see all throughout the town surrounding 
you see Cabrillo and um, yeah, and you see Cabrillo itself at later in the episode. You'll you'll notice just tons of murals everywhere, and it, I think it's just a unique touch that really gives the the town um, and the campus a sense of identity. And I think it'll help guide me to create a a town that has a really lively public realm. Um, and integrates the campus very well. Um, I mean, UC Berkeley's student population makes up a really large portion of the city of Berkeley's population, and you know you can you can tell that the, the university's kind of driven the city in terms of culture over time, and, and I want to show that here as well. Another thing I wanted to mention is it would be great if somebody wanted to make a, uh, a name for UC Cabrillo's sports team and then also a logo and uh, a flag um, you know, with that name. That would be awesome. And I uh, would be able to fly the flag um, by the stadium and in town or maybe even have murals for it. That'd be really cool um, to have that and really define the identity of, the, of this, uh, this town surrounding um, UC Cabrillo, which I mean, I'll, I'll come up with a name for this town um, separately. But yeah, it'll be a different municipality. It'll have its own city hall, stuff like that. But um, it's definitely going to be really defined by the university and also this, you know, the university sports team. So it'd be great if we could get a name and um, a logo and flag for that. That'd be great. Um, so if anybody's interested, just let me know in the comments or on Discord or something like that. Which, by the way, join the Discord. I always, I always mention it, but it's in the description. You could also follow me on Twitter for um, train ramblings and stuff always like to mention those things it's nice to have people over there um but yeah so right now we're working on the cafeteria for campus and i'm making sure that it's got a whole area for outdoor dining tons of it here there's um i mean th th there are definitely other cafeterias and different dorm areas but this is the central one on, on the main area of campus but um tons of tables um connected to the paths around it and it's, I mean, yeah, it's going to have a big mural in the front of it as well. We're going to add all the murals at the end. Uh, I know they're not here yet, but we're going to do them all at once just because I, th I thought that'd be pretty efficient. And I also grabbed them a little later from the workshop. Another thing I wanted to mention is, uh, so this video going out on a Thursday, I, I, I'm premiering it. So I haven't done this in a while because my understanding, and, and this is you know backed up by a bunch of people, is that YouTube, the way YouTube is handling premieres, which is basically you upload a video and then there's a kind of a live stream chat and everybody watches live as the video you know, kind of goes up. And it, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I did it for a while last year, but then I realized YouTube, um, didn't seem to recommend those videos enough um, that they would show as streamed rather than uploaded. It was very weird. It seems like that might be fixed and I'm going to try it out again. And I wanted to get your feedback on whether you like you know, premieres. I really like them because it just provides a whole different mode of interaction. Um, and it's just a lot of fun and a nice consistent way to interact with you folks. So uh, I'm going to you know premiere this video and hopefully um, everything goes well and YouTube's fixed whatever um, the problem was, because I'm pretty sure there was a problem before. Um, and I mean, yeah, we'll we'll see how this goes. Once again, let me know. Give me feedback. And this is, yeah, another another Thursday upload. My current upload schedule for those who are wondering, somebody asked on the Discord uh, is and I mentioned this in the last episode, I believe, was uh, Almost definitely, you're going to get a video Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, uh, every Sunday. Um, and then, I mean, I'm trying to upload every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time as well. Um, so that's 12 p.m. Eastern time. So if, you, uh, if you're around then and uh, I'm still doing premieres, it's, it's a good time to watch because we're all there. Just wanted to let you know exactly what time I, I uh, upload every week just because you know, getting that consistency down is, is always good. Um, and I always like to hear that kind of thing. So let me know if you have any other questions about that in, in the comments. Um, but, but yeah, we're, we're kind of continuing with various other stuff um, with the campus here. I'm using PO for basically everything procedural objects, um, scaling stuff down, um, removing props from stuff. I'm going to have to add PPGs and, and to get people to actually use the campus, but we'll do that in, uh, you know, the next episode today. I'm really, I'm just getting the, the, um, the outline of the campus down. I also want to make sure that nature integrates really well into the campus. Cause I mean, you know, my experience, the Berkeley campus is just amazing. The redwoods on campus streams and, and it, 
you just feel unrestricted in the way you're able to interact with the nature. It's not like you just have to stay on a set path like you might have to on other campuses. You could just kind of explore. Um, there's so many other you know, like little things you can you can find within the wilderness on campus, and it's it's really a beautiful place, and it's exactly what I, I'd want in a campus, and I want to kind of translate that here a little bit. We don't really have a stream or anything just because streams are unbelievably annoying to build in this game, especially at the kind of grade that I'm at here. But um, we're we're making some little paths in the forest. I've got a like all those trees on the right there. Those are all eucalyptus trees. Berkeley has a eucalyptus grove. Um, these look kind of different from the variety of eucalyptus that we've got in California, but nonetheless, just wanted to place them there. But they're going to be a bunch of redwoods towards the the north end of campus here. Um, or actually, no, this would be the south end of campus. Um, we're gonna have a bunch of redwoods over here um, and tons more on the hillside as we kind of integrate into the um, the open space behind campus. And maybe we'll have a little bit of a housing um, as well, like dorms, initial dorms might be in this area, but also a bunch of dorms in the um, in the area where we build, we build the um, like college town uh, for sure. Just dorms integrated into the into the town rather than being kind of in their own separate area on the hillside um, and we'll figure that all out as we go um, once again if, if you've if you go to a UC campus or have been to a UC campus and want to want to contribute here just any other university just let me know what you uh, let me know what you're thinking because I'd love to, to implement that I want to make a campus that's definitely unique obviously it looks like really looks like Berkeley's campus that's just because the architecture I don't really have tons of buildings to go with here and I'm actually really happy with how this turned out um, even though I'm gonna have to do some you know some weird stuff to get it to actually function uh, properly uh, I'm really happy with how this how this looks. We're beginning to place murals around here as as well. Um, you can find the murals in my prop collection in the description. Um, there are a bunch of them there, and they're just uh, I, I found a whole pack of them that I didn't really know existed before, and we're just placing them everywhere. There are tons and tons of them. They're huge. Um, they're also they scale to different sizes to kind of fit the environment that you want to place them in um, And I'm just finding mostly blank walls on the sides of these buildings, but also uh, I'll cover up windows in, in certain areas to place murals down but I'm Trying to place a whole diversity uh, of them uh, just tons of different types of murals I really like this one that we placed over here by the cafeteria I feel like it fits really well with the kind of modern aesthetic there I really do like though um, having this just I've really never seen a campus covered in art quite like this and um, obviously it doesn't integrate perfectly it's hard to do that in game um, just because these murals are set rectangular murals um, but I feel like it's in some ways I'm able to integrate them in in places that make sense and make them fit their context well it's it's not perfect but I I'm still happy with the story here because I think um, public arts a really important um, a important aspect of participation and it can completely transform an area it's completely transformed this campus it will completely transform the surrounding town as well and um, I'm you know I'm assuming from this just considering how big this movement is that this set off a huge wave of public art throughout California as well this campus is is really influential in that regard um, driving expression in, in the built environment um, there's the admin building there, but you can see this this square um, Which is a, a big meeting place for students. I used the same asset that I used in the um, In downtown, but we've also got this kind of brutalist building here, which I'm assuming is like the architecture college I I love the way this looks I think it's a great building and, and a, one path just leads to it from the, the front gate of the university and I think it integrates very well into its environment and um, here are some of these spaces that are you know not very well landscaped that are just kind of growing wild and, and you're able to explore them and I, I have a combination of these brick paths that really fit well with the um the roofs of these um these buildings but then also just some pavement paths and i love the modern look of this cafeteria this mix of older and newer buildings i think works very well for uc cabrillo and i also really love how i was able to get this mural to fit in the windows of this hall here and also the campanile in the background it just looks awesome obviously a nod to uc berkeley but yeah we're kind of closing out here i i know the university looks uh, a little dead right now there aren't any people here there isn't even a road connection to uc cabrillo yet it's just kind of existing on its own in the middle of nowhere right now 
Um, but I wanted to shape the whole campus in this episode. We'll place PPGs and get some people in here and get a college town going um, next time. Um, make sure you're subscribed for that. And uh, and let me know in the comments if you you know would want to go to UC Cabrillo um, campus-wise, you know, not even just academically. Just let me know what you think of the campus versus every other UC campus. You know, obviously it's only half done yet, but um, you get a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like. Love to hear from you there. Um, but we're closing out here. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, a quick shout out to some patrons here. Antoine Robert, Dental Wright, Fluffy the Cat, Tracy Larson, and VLDC1000. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you're interested in downloading the save game for Cabrillo every episode or getting early access to videos, your name in the credits, or um, access to the members only Discord channel, um, you could become a patron. I really appreciate it. Um, you could also become a YouTube member and get um, badge next to your name in the comments and emojis. Uh, that's also an option. Or if you just want to leave a comment and uh, you know let me know how I did, that would also be highly appreciated. You don't have to support me monetarily for, for me to appreciate you. But yeah, regardless, thanks for joining us and I will see you in the next episode of Cabrillo where we work on the surrounding area, get, get a college town going and actually bring people to UC Cabrillo.